Viper and um, this is my second video of the week. Two days in a row, I think this is the first time I've ever done it. Um, and today is going to be a different topic. Still going for the Phase 5 and World Cup winners. Or the World Cup was a little bit short. Um, I don't know. I, was really, I just, I think if you guys didn't watch it or you just waited to like the, or you ended at the Phase 5 part and I stopped it. I vote for Brazil and Spain. It's Brazil or Spain, I don't think US, USA could make it. Um, USA is never going to make it past the first round. I'm sorry for you guys, but if they had landed Donovan, we could have done it. And today's topic is too much DLC. And this is kind of a little bit, um, a little bit a common topic, common. And you can actually see this in every game. Mostly, every game they make more and more DLCs. They can tr they try to enjoy the fans with some new Sony, and spend a little bit more money for sales, production, and marketing, something like that. Although that's probably not one reason, but hmm. and oh, that and this is a porn. And I think DLC is, I really think they should really come up with less camos, I think. I, sometimes I think some of the camos are pretty dull. Lot, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a couple, for example, the Hex camo, that is just like a, kind of like a Hex gun print, Desert is really none that special about it. Okay, I gotta get this bet. I gotta get him. Got him. Okay, got him. That's really no point. It's just a hexagon with like... None on it. I think some of them kind of look cool. I like the, um, mostly some of them look cool. Captain Price camo. I like the soul. I use soldier pack. Although you can't see it, but I think the camo is kind of bad. I don't really like it. It's kind of, you can't see the colors. They stayed it kind of better than the soap and Macroff one. Although I don't know why they had Macroff as a green camo, but probably that makes sense to Mafia too, something like that. Somewhere around that theme. Maybe that's why they came up with the blue. Oh, I didn't know that was actually a guy there. I thought that was... And... Mostly that is kind of a little bit... Disappointment. You play Call of... Oh my god, okay, STEM. Mostly you want to entertain the fans. I think actually camos... Mostly, Ghost has been really kind of good on the DLC too. Mostly they did not do terrible, but some of the maps I kind of say it's terrible too. They should really come with more creative plans. I really think bad maps, I'm probably guessing. Inish, I think the Onslaught, the only one I'm going to go for is Containment. I don't really, it's kind of mostly long range. It's like the biggest map probably in the map pack, but the rest of them are pretty good. And... Containment is kind of one of the worst ones for Affected, so I, play, I like to play a lot of Affected because it's a Katie Rising game mode. And boom, I just got a double kill for you guys. Um, second map pack, I think... Oh, I forgot what... If I forgot... Okay, I forgot all the maps in second. See, I can't remember the second map pack because I didn't play it much. Ruins, Collision, Behemoth, and Unearthed. I think the only one I probably hate is Behemoth. Behemoth and, um... I think Behemoth's only one because that's kind of someone just camps with LMG and you can't see him from like a long range if you have like a AR assault rifle, so that's kind of screwed up map. And third DLC, I'm just gonna go with uh, what we got? Mutiny, um, Mutiny Departed, Farewell. And I think I didn't eat the dirt map packs probably gets a better. I think he has a better one. I say Muni is the bad one in this one because it is kind of a confusing flank route map, which people really don't like. But it's in Call of Duty, so they can't fix it like that. And camos, I yeah, I'm gonna go more extensive of the camos since I was doing a short one. Oh, got the guy by lucky. And some of the camos, um. They really make it a cheap price, which is good. I don't still don't get why they have the creative soldier options on there. I think that was actually a kind of a dumb idea, but at least they, it makes them 
and but it makes the game a little bit more confusing because you don't know what's on the team if there's like um ground jam on or like hardcore team damage like something like that how are you supposed to know what team they are because it's so confusing because they don't have the same option but I think this makes the game a little bit more creative than actually make it like all the other games where they don't have creative player options. Um, that might actually come in Advanced Warfare 2, so you might see a um, customization with the exoskeletons and all of that. Which, which I don't really think that's gonna like different abilities stuff. Okay, where's this guy? And it's something that makes everything so diff oh, different in the game. I probably think they really... I think some of the camos are really, are really the sign of the mostly affinity work. Comes over fan favorites. Fan stuff so you don't have to be ripped. Although it's still not the choice of what camos they want. They should really make the fans choose what camos. And I think they should do is like anyone like if fifty thousand don't purchase the camo by two weeks, they actually get the delete camo. That's I don't know why they still have those camos there. Like no one's gonna buy it. There's actually no point in it. And the same as Creole Source um options. I kinda let I wanna buy the assistance pack too. Looks pretty nice from what it show when it's once you see it. And you want fancy camos. Like, fancy, I like kind of, some of the signs are really fancy. I think, I like where they have the legendary pack, but I really don't think they should really put some camels in there. I think only, it's a waste of time to just put camels. Just put the character on there in the background, in the patch. You don't need to put a camo, it looks more uglier. Plus, you put the face on, which looks like, man, it looks like messed up because you're not probably going to see the face. But, I really think they really came up really good and and but the problem is I face is too much DLC means more trying to get more marketing which people want to play the game not buy 50 bill like not buy 50 bucks more DLC which is not which has no use in it I think they should really limit themselves on the DLC delete some DLC if they can and all that and uh, I was going to change my game attack today, but is I just got on right now. It is 4.30 p.m. I got on 8 a.m. in the morning, for God's sake. 8 a.m. in the morning, and it, the end that was not working. It was not working until 4.30, really. And so I switched the router back and on, uh, on and off, so that really, that's really rip off internet there. And that's gonna be the end of my the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll show you I'll play the rest of the gameplay. Enemy SATCOM spot. Stick to the shadow. 